Hi, hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Luis Quand here, talking about film photography. And um, I want to present you this camera. It's a Fed4, a Russian camera that I've been using. This is a rangefinder camera, um, which means that uh, the image that you see through the viewfinder, it is not exactly 100% what the camera sees. So that, that is especially uh, tricky if, if uh, you are close to your subject then because you, the camera sees this point of view on the lens a little bit um, below. So that means if you go too close to the subject, you're going to, um, the lens is going to see um, a different angle, of course, that, the, the angle that you you are seeing through the viewfinder uh, but basically I would like to just to show how, how it works um, on its very basic functions um, it's a, a really funny camera it's quite bulky um, though it's a funny way that the way that it works it's um, so different from the uh, from the other cameras and and all these combinations together makes this camera quite unique and, and funny, really funny to work with. Um, so it's got the lens, which is an Indestar uh, 61 lens, uh, not, the, not the most um, sharp of the lenses, but it gives a kind of a bouquet to the photos. It's quite nice. Um, the aperture uh, goes from a, a 2.8 aperture is not the, the widest of the apertures but that that's good enough um, and it goes till 16 uh, uh, focus uh, from one meter till infinity so it's got a, a timer that's funny when you put a timer self timer here you just pr not you don't press the shutter but you press here and it's quite funny the way it, it's up, and the noise and everything it's quite funny um, actually one of the things that I um, most enjoy in this camera is really the noise that it makes when when it shuts uh, like so um, it's quite a unique sound um, in terms of speed range, it goes from one second, uh, I don't know if you can see it's in focus or not, but it's from one second till five hundred of a second. Um, so, um, for the, uh, and position B, I've got to tell position B, which means that on a tripod uh, with a uh, cable you can um, just operate like long exposures with it it's got a um, it can measure measure the light it's got a kind of a light meter integrated that uh, it, I don't know if you can see but it's got a, a dial here that moves uh, as we move the, the aperture uh, and it's quite useful because outside you can have an ocean in terms of light to put the settings uh, quite right in terms of exposure. And when uh, I've got an other video uh, showing how to load a film and to rewind the film. So if you want to watch it, it uh, could be useful. Uh, there's a few things down that uh, I really find tricky. For example, the viewfinder here is very small, very small. Uh, especially, I use glasses and I've got difficulties to notice the, all the image um, through the viewfinder. But as what some, um, it's, poss it's possible to adjust here the dioptries, so it's good for people. Uh, like me that use the glasses and we can actually adjust for our own vision. Uh, the, in terms of opening the camera is quite funny because 
we we just turn these knobs up um, uh, like that and you turn it 180 degrees you turn it and then you open you just slide the back of the camera like so so it's quite funny um, uh, to, to actually load the film you ca we can actually take this hinge off put the bit uh, at the beginning of the film here and then basically um, when you close shut the, the camera here um, turning these knobs um, once the film is inside um, a very important thing is um, don't forget to put this dial on zero because it's got a number I don't know if you can see uh, the number here has got zero there and arrow so you need to put uh, the counter at zeros because that is not automatic and you need to put that in order for the camera to count um, if you don't then you don't know how, how many photographs in the middle of, of a film you are um, taking um, other important thing uh, a very very important thing in this camera is uh, on the speeds here on the dial of the speeds uh, you never change if you let's say um, if you let's say are on the 30th of second uh, it's quite tricky to see that maybe on the 30th of second if you want you never move that to the back to the one second speed yeah so the dial you should uh, change the speed only only after you advance the film so firstly you shoot a photograph and then immediately the the best practice is immediately just um, advance the film in order then you can change the speeds after uh, if you don't advance the film maybe you forgot then by accident if you start um, mixing uh, messing around with the speeds the, the dial of speeds you you're going to actually damage the mechanism of the the shutter uh, the shutter speed so first thing when you shoot uh, an image you immediately advance the film and then at any moment you, you can um, deal with the dial so and and this to change the the speeds you you can move the dial all the way around to your left hand side so coming from the highest speeds till the lowest ones and then when when once we reach the 1 15 15th of the second you can go actually moving around the dial um, till one second yeah so I never move try to move from one second to the one thirtieth of the second so I don't know if you can see the speeds there you never move from the one second you just need to go around so again advancing the film and then moving from one second uh, to half second or one fourth one eighth one fifteenth and so on until the the highest of the speeds so this is a bit tricky but once you've got the practice uh, and the habit to deal with it that's fine it's simply a different way to to work and we need to pay attention for not to ma to damage the the mechanism of the camera and that's very important so my advice is the be best practice is you're shooting uh, and after you should uh, take a, a picture immediately you just advance and if, if you don't take that photograph immediately just leave the camera like that because at any time you can deal with the, the dials of speeds 
uh, of uh, the speeds, um, shutter speeds, and then you don't have any problem to damaging the mechanism. Uh, other than that, um, I, I, I think that's it. Um, has got the connection for flash here because um, the the hot it's not a hot shoe um, so it can't make any connection just is it just the base to, to actually put a flash on the top but actually you need a cable to connect um, I, I don't advise to, to use with flash anyway I'm using this mainly for uh, um, street photography um, some landscapes maybe uh, other than that is a simple camera very strong but we need to be careful uh, how to deal with it for not to um, damage the mechanism uh, but it's a, a funny camera uh, I just recommend it it's very cheap very affordable uh, if you find on eBay you can buy it maybe for 30 40 pounds it's very affordable and actually this one it came with a um, a case which is a, a bonus as a, a leather case quite quite good so yeah i recommend fat for just have fun with it okay see you next video thank you for following and uh, don't, don't forget to subscribe um, and following in this adventure with uh, photography based on film with me, Luis Quant. See you next time. Thank you.